Hey, welcome to Mike's Trains. Uh, this will be part eight in the series of building this Walther's Union Station. Um, let me show you what I've gotten done since the last video. Uh, obviously, you can see I've added these. I've actually attached these wings on here. Um, and you know, in the last video, I talked about I removed the floor that's in here so that we can have access to the lights. And you can see I've added some lights in there. And I ended up drilling a hole right up in here for the lights to pass through to up here. So now I can run, run this right into the upper level of lights and then run the whole thing right through this gap right in here into the main section. So after fiddling around with the lights, I figured out what I needed. And, and this is what we ended up with. Uh, well, actually, before the lights, let's talk about this uh, paper here, this, this interior. So in, in changing out the interior and removing that lower floor that we had right here that was, you know, inside there, and getting rid of this, I had to put something that was going to go in front of the windows. So what I came up with was, and I think I showed in, in the last video, uh, I printed out on vellum paper the interiors, which are right here. And then what I did was I folded the top over about a quarter inch, three eighths of an inch, and I glued that with uh, canopy glue and some, some tape. And then I, I let it hang down. I pushed it back from the front the distance of the thickness of the uh, edge here. And then I cut it off flush and then I taped it to the edge. And I did this for three sides on both of the both of these uh, wings on each side. And then after that was done, uh, I added the lights. okay? So what I have here are the LED lights. I showed you these once before. Um, I, I like them a lot so far. They've been fairly good. Let me get this backed up a little bit. They're, they're, they're fairly good. So what I have are these LED lights and you have to cut these. These are made to run on 12 volts. So on these lights here, they run in sets of three. One, two, three. And then right in the middle here, this is a resistor so that you can run it on 12 volts. So I'm not going to add more resistors to break down the lighting. Um, and this train station is going on my father's layout. And his power supply that he's going to be running with this is a 12 volt power supply, non-adjustable. So it's a full 12 volts. No matter what I put on here, I can't turn it down. Um, and I don't want to mess with the wiring to make it less because he may be running other things that need that full 12 volts. So I'm going to cheat a little bit with... with these LED lights. Um, when I when I put these on and I light them, if it's too bright, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to black over one or two of these LEDs and that'll dim the lights down. So instead of being six, it'll be four or five or whatever. It just turns out that six is my magic number. This is what's going to be. And uh, I can show you what that looks like. Let me, let me flip this back over and we'll take a look and see. So I'll give you a close, let's get you in real close. Like that. And then let me put some power. Now, mind you, this is only, only 9 volts as opposed to 12. There we go. So that's what we end up with. And it, it, it looks pretty good. I'm actually happy with that. And whoop, a little too much. It actually looks pretty good. And we can get, you can see in the end doors, you can see in even a little bit better that there's an interior in there. 
So we went around all three sides and, and that's what we end up with. And I, and I think that brightness is gonna be good because once I hook it up to his power supply, it's actually gonna be a little bit brighter. Um, so I may or may not have to take those down a little bit more. So let's look at how I got that to there. So what I did was I cut off three, we went up to the reel here, and I cut off a set of six lights. Now I do six, and I'll do six forever, it doesn't matter what I'm putting them in, only because, so that's six lights. Now, this is the reason why. When you cut these off, I don't know if you can see this or not, let's see, maybe I can prop this up or something. Let's see if I can get a close up of, of what we got going on here so you can actually see what I've got going on. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so in the six lights, you have every three lights, there's a set of contact strips right here. Okay, now you need to solder wires to those little contact points. Now, when you cut them, cut off the lights in sections, it leaves half of that contact strip. And I, maybe it's just me, but I can't solder to that little tiny pad. So I cut off six, and then I have a full pad right in the center, and I solder to that. But what I do is I take this little pin vise that I have in my hand here, and I drill a hole right in the center of that soldering pad. And then I, I, I'll take a, uh, a piece of the wire, and I strip off oh, a small amount like this take off a small amount and then I'll tin this I'll, I'll tin it with this with the uh, soldering iron here why don't I just do it and uh, I can show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna cut off a length of yellow wire I just need to make sure it's going to reach from underneath to the top floor. So we'll do a piece of this. And I have my arm here that holds this. Let's see, can you still see? Yeah. Like that. Okay. And we'll take some solder. And I'm just going to sew it up that wire. I'm going to tin it with a little bit of solder. A little bit of solder on the end here. And just, just tin up the end of the wire. Like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do with this take my pliers and I'm just gonna bend it into a hook like this okay now the light strip I'm gonna take this light strip and my pin vise put it right in the center of the pad and we're gonna just drill this all the way through. So now I have a hole through the copper pad. I'm going to do another one on this side just to make sure I get them both. And it doesn't take much to go through it. Okay. You take that in there. And then we're going to take this copper wire and I'm going to pass it through the hole. bend this right over and I'm going to crimp it down like that okay put this back in here like that and we're going to load up the iron
okay and that ends up pretty much just like that and then we'll do the same with the the blue on the other side now I should have checked first to make sure I got the polarities right uh, because these lights it does matter there is a plus and a minus and if you get them wrong the lights won't work um, you don't hurt the lights at all but they just won't work um, so let me check I gotta check and make sure I got this right so I'll take this and the battery I think I have yellow for plus so yellow over here blue over here yes yellow goes to plus and I'm pretty sure all right we've got that one backwards but you know what I'm gonna leave it and I'll just have to remember that that's what I did on this one we're gonna cut off another length of blue wire And that's it and then we can test this on the 9 volt battery I always like to check it before I put it in because you never know I'm not an expert here so we'll take this blue here yellow here and we have lights so that's working okay so now we can take this and we're gonna flip this over and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna mount this to the other side so we have this one here now we're gonna come over to this side gonna mount it right in that side now this uh, these lights these lights here are peel and stick but the sticky isn't that sticky it's really not gonna hold it'll hold temporarily but we want to do a little more with this just to make sure it stays so I'm gonna peel off the paper okay and then what I want to do is I want to put a little CA on there and uh, you don't need a lot just a little bit just a little extra hold put that in there the old micro brush and we're just gonna spread a little bit on here okay and then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick this right in the center here just like I did the other side center as best I can I'm not gonna measure it I'm just doing by eye and we're gonna stick this right in there like that okay now before before I push these up the hole I want to uh, make sure that CA you know has a chance to set up for a minute I'm gonna twist these wires together I'm not going to put any pressure on it, but I'm going to start it into the hole. But before I go too far with it, I want to make sure that, uh, like I said, that, that that glue has a chance to set up. Now the blue one, I'm just going to let it go around the light fixture. I don't want to have the light. I don't want the wire going with the over the light at all. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little hot glue and I'm going to fill up this hole so that these lights can't be pulled and then I'm going to put a little bit right here just to tack these wires in. And that's it. We're going to call it done at that point. Let me flip this up. Okay, so that's what we end up with. 
you can see here we put a little little touch of uh, hot glue right here on the long wire so it doesn't hang down and then further in here where the wire goes up I just put a little hot glue in the hole so now I can pull on the wires on the on the top side and I won't pull these out and I did the same on both sides so I did the blue wire was the loose one here all right and I hot glued the hole again and that's still cooling so um, and that's it for the bottom half now the bottom floor is full lit we can take this and we can connect now because so this one because I wired it backwards and I wasn't paying attention this one goes over here and then this one goes over here so there you have both sides lit on the bottom floor um, and then we just continue on to the top floors in the same manner now seeing how bright these bottom floors are with only six lights um, on the on the um, on this these two floors here okay because because these are going the way they're going okay uh, let's take a look at a roof panel. So I have this for a roof panel. Now this panel, let's see, what can you see? Okay, this panel goes this way in here. So the roof, the roof light goes across. So what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to mount a row of six again, just like the bottom, and a row of six here. Because when I put this on here, I want to I want to set the lights over each side, and I want the light to spill into the center, and that'll work. If I keep them close to the edge here, and close to the edge here, that should put some pretty even lighting in there. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now, in the center section, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. Now, you know, let's get this out of here. Okay. So in the center section this is the roof panel to that so this sits in here like this so I was originally talking about putting a row on each side around this um, but I'm not gonna do that I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a row of six here and a row of six here should be more than enough to light this whole thing up and, and that's it and then what's gonna happen what's going to happen is the wires that come off the lights in this section these lights here these will go these will go into and I'll, I gotta leave an extra bit of wire here so that if I need to remove this for my father to add figures in here I need room to be able to lift this out but these will tie into those wires and then they'll pass through this little gap I left here purposely they'll go right through here and right through here into here and this will go to the center lights and this side will pass through as well on, on this side and then everything will get wired together here and we'll use hot glue to secure the wires and then that whole thing is going to come right down a side here uh, yeah you can't really see um, they're going to come right down the side in here and then on the bottom I'm going to drill a hole right here and the wires will exit here. And that's the whole thing. I mean, that's it. And then the only other thing I wanted to address in this video is the roof lights that go on here, the, the, the roof windows. And those are right here. Now I'm going to frost these windows. See right now they're very clear. You can see through them nicely. So if they were up here, Obviously, you're going to see the tops of the walls. You're going to see, you know, things that you don't really want to be seeing. So to frost these, the easiest and, and nicest way to do it is to take some um, matte finish clear spray from Home Depot or wherever. And obviously, we'll take off this window. But we're going to take this, and I'm just going to run a piece of tape over this outside here. And then I'm going to take it, and I'm going to spray a, a light... Uh, uh, mist of the matte clear over this over all the roof windows on the inside 
right? And that will allow them to be uh, clear but not see-through. So when this lights up, the roof windows will light up as well. They'll look awesome, but you can't look in and see what's going on inside through the roof. Uh, and this works really great if you want to do it. I mean, if you didn't want to do, let's say, all this interior stuff and you just wanted to, to frost over all the windows, I have my N-Scale uh, Union Station that I have. I have the same one in N-Scale. And that's what I did with that one. I frosted over all the windows in it. So when you light it, all the windows just kind of glow. And I didn't do an interior in it. Um, so that's another way around it. And, and that's what I'm going to do for the roof windows in this. Uh, so that's it for this video uh, thanks for taking the time to watch it um, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel please subscribe um, and hit the like button by all means uh, like the video it lets me know I'm doing the right things and you know people are, are liking what I'm doing if you haven't been to my website go there it's mikestrains.wordpress.com uh, there's lots of photos of my layout and you know some of the other things I've done um, so that's it for today um, so happy modeling and we'll talk to you later